Dan and I came outside for this next section. How often do you take time to think about yourself? How often do you take time to write down what you are thinking, what's concerning you, what's pulling at your heart? Section number two is personal contemplation. This course asks everyone, teachers and students and travelers alike, to take time to write down what you're experiencing. Really, something as small as walking to a next location shoot and finding a feather. This is what I'm talking about because this feather actually has meaning for me. It's the story of me as a little girl being fascinated with how birds fly. That's a part of who I am. And remembering and writing down this connective tissue between the world and me, that's a strength and that's a skill that you can develop. And that's what this course asks you to do. And there's a couple of different ways to write something down. My reaction to the feather is a memory, a feeling. Might be good, might be hard, might be sad, might be challenging, but it's about me and the feather. That's a reaction. That's what your journal's for. That's for you taking personal time to have something to write in and on that's just about you and the world. That's one way to write your thoughts. The second way is can I look at what I wrote in my journal and begin thinking about what I wrote and can I respond to myself? That becomes a beautiful negotiation with what you're thinking, how you're thinking about it, and what it might mean to you as you move forward. That's the response part of this course. I'm gonna write my reaction first. On Facebook, that would be the like, or the dislike, or the tear, or the happy face. And then the response part is I'm gonna think about how I found this, what it meant to me. And now I'm gonna talk about it a little deeper. That's the response. Give it a try. So how do you think about what you're thinking? What's the what and what's the how? Aligning with the ethics part of the course this questioning about the what and the how can be looked at in a classroom setting. As a group, a cool exercise is figuring out what are the rules of engagement between students on a campus. Really, unpacking the rules of what it means to be a woman on Penn State campus or anywhere. What are the rules of being a man? What are the rules of being a student? What are the rules of being a professor? These kinds of thoughts help you figure out how you are thinking because a lot of what ethical practices are is agreeing to follow the rules that are in place by a practice. So the course looks at five things, four P's and a C, which are perspective, privilege, purpose, prejudice, and civility. Half the class actually unpack those four P's and to see what are the rules at play. Because figuring out what the rules are can help you think about how you are thinking about a what. Explore. This is about teasing things out. It's about pulling the patterns of a culture apart so you can see the connective tissues. I guarantee you when people start talking about rules, it's hard to get them to stop. Have fun. It shall be fun or it shall not be.